Our political roundtable guests will have plenty to say about Senator Frank Lautenberg's announcement. Joining me now is Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman and Democratic strategist Bill Pascrell III. Thanks for joining us. Great Thanks to be here. Us. Okay, let's talk about Lautenberg's legacy. And I know, Bill, you were at the announcement today. You also worked on his campaign. Tell me your thoughts about how he will be remembered, although he's not stepping away anytime soon. He made that very clear today. He did. <laughs> yeah. He said, uh, as only a Patterson guy can say, this is not the end, it's the beginning. Exactly. Listen, you know, um, we, we can talk about Frank Lautenberg's 30 year public legacy and the incredible, humble beginning he came from. Um, I'm just proud today as a Silk City compatriot um, that uh, he's done us proud. And uh, we like to say, and so does Frank, don't mess with Patterson. Mm -hmm. You know, interesting, uh, he did spar sometimes with Governor Christie, but uh, in the end, they worked, they worked together on Sandy, correct? Sandy uh, absolutely. Is. I mean, I think Republicans and Democrats are correct in saying that Senator Lautenberg has served the people of New Jersey for a, a great number of years, and he's, he's you know, very well respected. Um, but, you know, he's going out as a fighter for New Jersey and for Hurricane Sandy relief. And I think that's how one of the ways he's going to be remembered in working with Republicans in the state. Okay, it seems kind of early to start talking about this, but this is the way politics works, I guess. Already they're talking about potential candidates, right? On the Democratic side, a whole bunch of names. We already knew about uh, Newark Mayor Cory Booker mm -hmm. expressing interest, but others. Um, Congressman Frank Pallone, uh, Assembly Speaker Sheila Oliver, uh, and there's a host of others, possibly Rush Holt, Stephen Sweeney. Uh, tell us your thoughts, Bill. I think the list will continue to grow. Uh, anytime, you know, that's also the trouble with announcing this early. And I think that Senator Lautenberg really grappled with this. Um, I, I, Desiree, I don't think Senator Lautenberg backed down from a fight. I think he realized that, you know, it, it's kind of, at, at 89 years old, it might be time to be able to really end with a burst on a high note and allow for a uh, passing on of the baton. That being said, I think that uh, you also hear a lot of names popping up on the other side, mm -hmm. uh, like we Geraldo Rivera. That. We'll talk about <laughs> yes. that in a minute. Okay. But I, I think that there is no one uh, that will dispute that Cory Booker is certainly at this point in time being talked about. And some may believe he's a front runner, but I think there's also people like the Senate president who's already set up an exploratory committee Sheila Alver, who I sat next to at uh, Senator Lautenberg's uh, announcement today at NJCDC in Patterson, who uh, I tell you, she's somebody to be reckoned with as well. We haven't had a woman U.S. Senator in New Jersey, and there aren't that many, although there are more than we had a few years ago in the entire U.S. Senate. So, but I do think the names will continue to, to foster. Um, you know. And will it get heated? I mean, these are all oh. big names. What do you think, Jeanette? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. This is the first, I think, open U.S. Senate seat we've had since 2000, right? Since uh, John Corzine narrowly defeated Bob Frank. So I think this presents a wonderful opportunity for Republicans. There's a lot of names being floated out there. Ah, uh, tell me some names. Well, Carillos? Was, Senator Carillos? Uh, possibly. You know, he, he ran statewide last year, so he's, you know, the name in, fresh in everyone's mind. But, you know, State Senator Tom Kane Jr. is, you know, a f fantastic leader in the Republican Senate, as well as John Bramnack, the Assembly Republican leader, who has a great record. And then there's some some names kind of out of the box, like Woody Johnson, the Jets owner. So, and Geraldo Rivera, as we as we spoke about, maybe taking a page from the J Jimmy Springer, uh, Jerry Springer uh, <laughs> Congress run. Uh, you know, I'm yeah, not sure where that's right. coming out of. But uh, look, it, it presents a great opportunity for Republicans because we haven't had an open seat in a long time and we've been fighting incumbents. Okay, I have to ask you one more question, and that is, um, do you think uh, Newark Mayor Cory Booker will get any fallout for the way he announced? Meaning, you know, do you do you give a sitting senator a moment and and let his let him announce his intentions first? That doesn't seem to be what happened here. What do you it think? Does right. I think politics mm -hmm. is, uh, in addition to being a game of taking calculated risks, I think it's also a game of timing. And uh, listen, you cannot take away the tremendous accomplishments of Mayor Booker. In the same regard, I think many in my party found it very offensive and disrespectful to a senator who has served this state and country with distinction. From all of his accomplishments, banning smoking on airlines to the 21 
uh, drinking age okay. is Frank Lautenberg's. Well, I want to give Legacy. Jeanette just 20 seconds or so. <laughs> well, I think the message is clear. The Democratic Party said, Cory Booker, you're not the heir apparent here. And there are a lot of state Democratic leaders who are, who are upset with Cory Booker. And I think it's going to hurt him because they're starting to take shots at his record, look a little bit more closely at what he's doing in Newark and more honestly when he's not in Newark. I think, uh, you know, it's going to be a bruising primary for the Democrats and it's going to be an exciting year to watch. Oh, you've got it. Okay. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thanks.